Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're inside. We're going to be doing a little bit of 3D printing stuff. I want to show you guys how easy it is to level the bed, uh, your printing bed on a uh, Creality Ender 3. This is not a self-leveling bed. So uh, there are a little bit of um, knobs to turn and making sure the bed's heated and stuff. I think a lot of people struggle with 3D printing simply because um, their bed's not level. Uh, when you have poor adhesion to the bed, that could be a couple of different reasons. Now, once again, this is just my experience. I'm fairly new to the hobby, uh, just a little bit, a little bit over a year now. Uh, but I think I can maybe help you uh, level your bed on your Ender 3. And I'm sure this applies to most other printers as well. So let's uh, make this really quick. Let me just show you the printer and then we'll get on to the bed leveling. All right, so this is my printer. Purchased it off Amazon for, I think it got started in the hobby with some uh, with some of the PLA. I got started in the hobby for about $300 Canadian, 340 Canadian, somewhere around there. It's been a great little printer. I haven't had any issues with it other than one of the uh, Bowden tubes. The little fitting over here had popped out of the metal casing. I think uh, the thread stripped on it. But besides that, I epoxied it back in with some JB Weld. Everything went well. So we're going to start leveling the bed by preheating the bed and we're going to do that right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to assume at least that everyone knows how to turn their printer on. You see the boot menu comes up very, very quick. So it's just as simple as pushing a button. We're going to go to prepare. I'm going to push it again. I'm going to scroll down. It's going to say preheat PLA. I'm going to click the enter again. We can go down and we preheat the bed. So this will preheat only the printing bed. And up here, you're going to see the target temperature and below is the temperature of the bed. And let's just wait for that to uh, heat up. So here we are, we have our bed temperature at 60 degrees, which is where we actually wanted it. And uh, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to set the printer to auto home. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring the print head down to the bed uh, in its lowest position so that we can actually do the, uh, do the leveling. So it's very easy to do as well. We're gonna press the button on the sender three. We go down to prepare, once again, enter. And you're gonna see the auto home right there. So we're gonna hit it and you're gonna watch what it's gonna do goes through its motions. You see right here, that's the print nozzle right there, guys. That's what extrudes the actual plastic. It's gonna come down, touches all the sensors and all the axis, and that's it, we're ready to do it. So now we're going to go back into our menu again, and this is an important step as well. Uh, we go back to prepare, and we are going to disable the stepper motors. And disabling the stepper motors prevents us from forcing against the belts and the motors that actually move the bed. So we're going to click that guy. And we just heard a little thump, which means that all the stepper motors are now disabled and we are ready to level this bed. So I'm sure there's quite a few different ways to level printer beds. The one that I use the most, or the one that I use exclusively, uh, that I find the easiest is I just use a simple piece of white paper. And if you notice, now that the steppers are disabled, I can actually move my build plate. 
and it's very hot, so you got to be careful. And I can also move safely move my extruding head. Now, what we're doing here when you're bed leveling is you are actually adjusting the distance between the extrusion nozzle at the bottom and the top of your bed. So that's why we want to just make sure a piece of paper can slide through there. So we always start, well, I always start in this first corner. So I'm going to move the bed over here. I'm going to move it to this corner here. I'm going to try and put my piece of paper in. And you see, I, my piece of paper does slide in there. Right, so it slides in. It slides in, but very, very hard resistance. If I can't push the piece of paper through, uh, I know that the bed is too tight, so it's too close in this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm, there's knobs on the bottom of the bed here. So I am actually going to turn clockwise to bring the bed down. And that should give me some more room until I can slide the piece of paper in there. I'm sorry, I'm going to spin it counterclockwise. All right, so see now, nice and free. No resistance whatsoever, so I'm going to keep turning the knob clockwise until I start to feel a little bit of resistance. So I can feel it now. Now I can feel it dragging. And I'm just going to keep tightening it until I can barely push the piece of paper through without crumpling it. There we go. So that is fairly tight right there. Maybe another little turn. There we go. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but we have some scraping. Now I'm going to remove the piece of paper. And we are going to go over to our second area, which is going to be over here. Let's pull this out a little bit. All right, so now we're going to level this corner over here. And we're going to be doing the same thing. I'm just going to remove that clip. We're going to be sliding our piece of paper in underneath. And again, I do feel some really good, really good tension right there. So now I'm just wondering. You know what? I like that one. I'm very happy with that. I might loosen it a touch. There we are. All right, very nice. Now we're going to go to the back corner. So I'm just going to pull the bed up as far as I can. Not right until I hit my tripod here. Let me just get that little knock you guys away. All right, so we're going to try this corner as well. And this one is, oh, there we go. This paper slid through. Wow, my bed is uh, very, very good. So I don't have to turn anything on that corner as well. I have nice, I can still drag the paper through without crumpling it, so that's fantastic. Again, I'm going to drag the print nozzle all the way to the opposite side, making sure I'm as far back on the bed as I can get. Again, we're gonna be sticking a piece of paper through there. And we are good, so that is nice as well. All right, so when we've gone around the bed once, I always do it a second time, because when you make adjustments to one corner, it often changes the bed on the other corners. All right, so now compared to the other ones, that one's a little loose, so I'm just going to give it a little bit more. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna keep my paper underneath. I'm gonna move over. You guys can hear that, that's perfect. So we're gonna slide the bed up here. Okay, let's get up there. There we go. That is perfect. No tension has changed. And I'm going to slide it back this way. Slide the piece of paper back underneath. Let's see. Right, there we go. Yeah, that's perfect as well. All right, so I've done it once. I've done it twice. So I'm pretty confident it's level. And what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to move it over to the center. And I'm going to just try it in the center. And that as well is absolutely perfect. So there we go. So I have perfect tension on all the sides. Every single corner. It's fantastic. So now I know that every print I put on here, I'm going to have my first layers is going to be fantastic. Not to mention that as the layers build up, they're going to be nice and level. That is leveling the Ender 3. Very, very simple. I know when I first started in the hobby, there's... Um, not a lot of great videos out there that show you exactly step by step. I hope this helps. I hope it fills a little gap that's in the, that's in the tutorials in YouTube. And uh, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Stick around, check out the channel for other 3D printing stuff that I'm going to be doing. And uh, thank you very much again.
If you like this video, press subscribe down on the bottom. And uh, once again, thank you very much. Have a great day.